have another opportunity to recognize another one of those families who has reached a milestone in ministry. Randy and Linda Perkins, would you please join me on the platform? We have an opportunity to recognize Randy and Linda as they celebrate 50 years of ministry in the land down under. Randy and Linda were approved as Baptist Bible Fellowship missionaries to Australia in September, on September 1, 1973. Allow me this morning to read to you in the Perkins' own words a recap of their 50 years of ministry as Baptist Bible Fellowship missionaries. Linda and I extremely thankful for God's grace, enabling us to be missionaries serving with the Baptist Bible Fellowship International for 50 years. It's hard to believe that years ago we stood in the field house on Baptist Bible College campus in Springfield, Missouri as two young and very inexperienced 24-year-olds with our hearts were very passionate to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Now 50 years later, we're just old. <laughs> Hopefully somewhat wiser and still passionate to serve our God. We have been continually amazed at the faithfulness of our supporting churches. Without the, your prayers, we would not be celebrating this milestone today. Our ministry has been diverse and yes, sometimes hard, but God. God led us to take over the work of two precious BBF, previous BBFI missionaries, Harold Humphreys and his wife, and Dio and Marilyn Van Dyne in Adeline, South Australia in 1975. During our five years in this area, we were able to purchase a building with the help of a loan through the missions office. The church paid back the loan and continues a wonderful gospel ministry today, now with two campuses. During our 50 years, God led us to start three churches and watch over the work of three other BBFI missionaries, Harvey and Linda Goodman, Marvin and Pat Matthews, and Ron and Vicki Letts while they were home on furlough. One of the highlights of our ministry has been teaching at the Sydney ba Bible Baptist College with several other BBFI missionaries for seven years. Investing in the next generation of servants has always been a passion that Linda and I have pursued together as a team. During that time, the enrollment climbed to and around 70 students. We serve, are so very grateful to the Lord for enabling us to invest in these young people who continue to serve the Lord all over the world. When communism fell in Eastern Europe, the Lord lead, led us to change fields to the Czech Republic. The Lord gave us four young people from Palm Springs, Drive Baptist Church in Altamont Springs, Florida to spend six months serving with. It was an exciting time to share the gospel in many different ways. In 1994, God led us and we returned to Australia and formed a team ministry with Ron and Vicki Letts. During that time, we experienced a revival that lasted several months. Many young adults were saved and baptized and it was during that time that a large short-term missions team came from Canton Baptist Temple. And during those meetings, our youngest son, Jason, was called to preach. In 2009, God surprised us with a clear and exciting direction to work in Vietnam. Our church became heavily involved financially with a ministry in Hanoi that needed, that, that needed help with a combined orphanage and elderly ministry. We took a team of 10 people from our church in Canberra, Australia to visit and our hearts have never been the same. We fell in love with the children in the orphanage, the elderly, and the Christian workers ministering to them. God gave Linda a special love and desire to invest in the lives of these children. Change one heart, change a generation. In 2008 and again in 2014, I underwent two bone marrow transplants for multiple myeloma. During those years, God gave Linda many open doors in Vietnam, teaching teachers and training them, starting a MOPS ministry for young mothers, and establishing a, a kindergarten in a government orphanage with a Christian teacher. She has been able to lead many short-term mission trips to Hanoi to help the orphanage ministry. 
And God has given us a strong desire for first-generation believers that are keen to be discipled. Beginning in 2020, God enabled Linda and I to spend a year and a half in Hanoi during the pandemic helping the All Nations Baptist Church, an English-speaking church and a Vietnamese church until I was diagnosed with MDS and another blood cancer. This resulted in a year and a half at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida, going through a third bone marrow transplant. God has answered the prayers of people from all over the world and gave us a medical miracle. Today, praise the Lord, I am cancer free. Our desire is to continue to work both in Australia and Vietnam as long as God allows. Our desire is to stay faithful to his calling on our lives and to finish our ministry well. Would you welcome and congratulate Larry and Randy and Linda for 50 years of ministry. 